An outdoor story you'll see only on 10 of uh, Cooper City family's unusual mascot and lawn ornament that has a huge following. The giant skeleton isn't just around for Halloween. It stays up all year long. The homeowners dress it up to help celebrate every major holiday, <laughs> including the 4th of July. Local 10's Ian Margle is live to show us. Ian. It started as a larger than life Halloween decoration, but now it has become so much more. Instead, now every single day it gives their neighbors something to smile about. Now we take a picture. Ready? It's not your ordinary neighborhood attraction. I love it. We live down the street. He loves it. <laughs> He's always like, can we go see the skeleton? You turn around this corner, you don't know what you're going to find. <laughs> right at the corner of 90th Avenue and 49th Court in Cooper City, you'll find this, a 12-foot tall skeleton, always dressed for the season, from skull to metatarsals. I love decorating stuff, so I love decorating the house, so I always like try to find ideas. Freddie and Ivana Druckerman are the skeleton crew who own and clothe this unique lawn decoration. Just to have fun with it, make people happy, give people something to smile about in today's day and age. They bought him for Halloween last year and then decided they wanted to keep him there and dress him up for every holiday and special occasion as a fun surprise for their neighbors. We had Santa skeleton, then we had Valentine's Day skeleton, then St. Patty's Day skeleton. Easter, May 4th, Cinco de Mayo, Mother's Day, Father's Day, Pride. They say the vast majority of the feedback they've gotten has been good, but to the few who have had a bone to pick with them, Freddie says they just don't let it get under their skin. We just try to focus on the positive. We try to focus on the little kids that are smiling, the people that are passing by every day to look at this thing. That's what we're focusing on. So I hope all the skeleton puns weren't too corny. They were just humorous. <laughs> right enough. on time, brother. Uh, if you ask them what his name is, they'll give you several different answers. Uh, they give Poncho, they give Scully, they also give Bony Juan Kenobi. Earlier I said, what about John Bon Jovi? Oh. Got another one. Oh, I like that one. Napoleon oh. Bonaparte, maybe. <laughs> How about you change up the name for every holiday? Yeah, I like that. Way that way everyone's pleased. There you go. <laughs> now, uh, Ian, clearly not an HOA issue for this neighborhood here. Uh... No, in fact, they say there's actually a commissioner right across the street who's been really supportive of it. But you have to understand, there are people that are coming by all day long just to get a picture <laughs> with it, just to see it. They are. Oh, it's become God. an attraction, right? This neighborhood. There's a middle school just down the street, and when the buses were going by during the school year, the kids love it. These oh. families absolutely love it. Wow. Nothing but the bare facts. Thanks a lot, Therian. <laughs>